In the beginning, Panasonic created the GH1, and then the GH2, and the 3, and the 4, and the 5, and the 5S, and anyway, you get the point. And then the EVA 1 was born. Sexseed light fully featured little camera with a 5.7K sensor, in-body EIS, dual native ISO, perfect, right? Till you took it outside and said to yourself, Man, this screen sucks. <laughs> so you wonder about this Akuta Z Finder Loop. At 595 bucks, it is not the cheapest for what it is, but certainly not the most expensive when faced with the alternative of some EVFs. I would love to get one, but first I have to get my soul back from Panasonic, as the EVF wasn't cheapest. The loop is nice, the construction is like a tank with some parts metal and some plastic. I don't think tanks have a lot of plastic parts. Anyways, this is the Axis Mini. Yes, it is for the FS5, but it is the one that you have to get if you want to use with the EVA 1. You don't have to buy this. I did as I wanted the extra flexibility this affords me. By the way, this setup is not the only way. There are other better options out there. I put some links in the description. Let's look at some of the parts. This bracket comes with a Z Finder, which by the way comes with everything that you need. It works and it feels very solid. It has two holes for getting the loop closer for your face or farther away from your eyes, whichever you want to look at. This is the Axis Mini for the FS5. Notice it has the rosette connection. This is the reason you need the one for the FS5 as the bracket included will mount to the cage of the Z Finder. We'll tell you about it in a second. Uh, here I am showing some of the awesome stuff you can do with the Axis Mini. You can unscrew things and turn things and Anyway, you can add or decrease resistance. You can extend it to get it farther away from your face or you can shove it right into your orbital socket if you wanted to. Man, I really like this thing. I kept on playing with it on and off. Okay, so this is the bracket included with the FS5 and the one that I mentioned earlier will be needed to attach the Axis Mini to the cage. Here it is all assembled and I attached a picture so that you can see how it looks mounted to the cage. Oh, oh yeah, for this solution and so you don't have to buy a plate if not needed, you will need something like this. That a $95 is a lot of money for what it does. Vocus makes, I feel, a better, more solid and integrated solution, which again, see the description for links. There is a cover. Zakuru recommends you leave it on to protect the loop against the sun rays when not in use, but you can easily take it off if needed. I find this thing is somewhat annoying and gets in the way as it closes via a magnet and doesn't stay open. The cage is held by the 15mm rail holder of the screen, a screw and this bracket thingamajingy right here. You can just release it and pop it back in. And I did another shot from underneath it of the thingamajingy. The loop part can swing out of the way, or you can take it off completely. Press this button to release. But I did learn that you don't even have to press it, you can just kind of pull it when it comes off. Depends on the level of your blindness, you can go clockwise for the blinder you are, and if not enough, you can use two extra spacers included. And if your eyes are like an eagle, you can go ahead and screw that puppy all the way in. I had to show the Axis Mini in action. You can adjust this thing a thousand and one ways. I mean, it's freaking awesome. It's only a thousand and one though, don't, don't get greedy. I know you want to know, can you focus with this thing? Is it worth it? The answer is yes, maybe, no. I can't tell you that. To me, yes, you can focus if you can adjust it to compensate for your eyes. This shot actually shows you pretty close to how it looks in real life. Yes, it is worth it to me, as it compensates with one of the weakest links of this camera, and I like not having to depend on batteries of EVFs, plus it is cheaper than most other solutions. I hope you got something out of this quick look at the Z Finder for the EVA 1. I would love to hear what you think in the comment section below. Is it worth it for you? How are you coping with the screen yourself? If you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time.